real world. Welcome to my channel. This is Serge bringing you another action figures collector's review on the Power Rangers Lightning Collections GameStop Exclusives Mighty Morphin's Goldar. As you can see, you have a nice little image right here over here on the side that wraps around the box just like so. That's some mighty fine artwork. You have another image right here, the same thing on the other side. You have the product shot on the back. You have nothing at the bottom and just the tab at the top. Well, let's get to it and open this guy Alright, now let's take a good look at these accessories. First of all, we'll take a look at this sword. The sword looks kind of plain. Nothing, not a lot going on here except a little bit of red right there where his emerald is. It's looking pretty good with that clean paint app on it. Alright, there's that. Take a look at these hands. First of all, we'll take a look at this one. It's a little grasping hand. Nice little detail in the sculpting right here in the knuckles. Like how they stick out like that. Right here, how they come to a point right there. Looking pretty good. Alright, we'll take a look at this other gripping hand. For, I guess, his sword or whatever you want to put in there. It's pretty good. Right here, we'll take a look at this. Little fisted hand, that's what he's got. It's not too bad. Could be older. You have this like, grasping hand for like grabbing somebody by the neck or something like that. It looks pretty good. Not too bad. You have this little effect piece. It's a little purple effect. It looks like lightning to me, but it looks good. Not too bad. You just pop it right on this sword just like so. And there you go. Fits on there just like that. Now, this is where it's really good with this figure and the accessory. These wings. These things are very poseable. You can fold them up like so. You can extend them out. But on mine, they like to kind of like droop down a little bit whenever you get them out. You see that? They just like to fall. But man, that wash that's over that black. It looks like it's a little bit of dry brushing. I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but man, it looks good. You have a little bit of green on this side. Right here, you don't, they didn't paint it right there, but it's on the back of the figure, so it's not too bad. Man, they're, they're both this, painted the same way, and these wings are kind of gummy, as with most of these figures are. But man, they are good. They've sculpted them right. Here he is out of the box looking tough as hell, but I do have some complaints about this figure and we'll get into that whenever we get into the sculpt and whenever we get into the articulation. Okay, let's get into the articulation now. But first of all, before we get into it, I'd like to talk about something. His face should be like a darker color, if I remember correctly from the show, should be a lot darker. And his gold right here, I believe if it was this color because these are two different golds right here if it was this color like throughout it would look good but for a $20 price point you really can't complain this is all a new sculpt done by Hasbro since how they bought out Bandai America for the rights for Power Rangers it's pretty good though I mean the wings look great on there it's just they don't really kind of stay in place they kind of like fall where they want to go and like his joints are really gummy but I mean there's not a whole lot to complain about there's a lot of battle damage in the sculpt right there you can see so right there it looks good them gems that red I feel like that should be more like a burgundy color instead of the bright red that we're seeing but I still am not complaining it's still good for me right here now this part right here is very soft so it don't get in the articulation where his hair is. And it, if you remove this part, this is a separate part. Now, alright. Now that I'm done talking about that. Let's go ahead and look at the back. Right here at this tail. It's stationary. It cannot be moved and it's not posable. So don't try to go and take it off or anything. Try to pull it out. 
And right here on the back of the figure, it looks good. All the sculpt right there. I like the extra toes. He's got peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Right there, the hinge looks good. Right here, the back, there's some more battle damage back there. And the wings, and you can pose these wings around like, just like so. You can flip them all the way around if you want to. But man, that looks good. This is probably one of the best figures this line has put out so far. Okay, let's get into the articulation. His head can look up just a tiny bit. He can look down a little bit further. Not so much. Does he have any head tilt? Uh, just a little bit. Not too much. He can't really look side to side that good. Because his hair kind of does get in the way. But if you kind of move it around. You can get a little bit more range out of it. Not much more. But maybe just a little bit more. You have to kind of push it around. Anyway, he's got a nice hidden butterfly joint that's up in here. It's not really of any good use because you can't get him to go in but that far. And not back so much. He does have a double jointed elbow. But I can only get mine to go in that high that far because this part keeps hitting that part you have all four of these wrists can hinge up and down just like so he's got a really beautiful diaphragm pivot right there he can lean that far to the side he can lean this far to the other side all right and then let's set these back a little bit his arms up. He can go that far back just with the diaphragm and that far forward with just with the diaphragm. And whenever you add the extra added ab crunch, he can go that far forward. This part hits right through here, but you still get a good range out of it. You can lean him back that far back, which is pretty good, especially for whenever he's getting hit in the face by the Power Rangers. Standing straight back up. His legs can split out that far. Which is pretty decent. You can kick him forward. And this is really soft. So it gets out of the way real good. So you can get a good kick. Out of him. He does have a. Double jointed L, or knee. I'm sorry. Right here. And it hits the armor. Right there. And you can bring it back that far. And he can only kick back just a tiny bit. And I forgot to mention, he's got a thigh, uh, bicep swivel right here. He also has a thigh swivel. It's really done nice. It's hidden up, up underneath there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's hidden real well. And that's upskirt view right there. Alright, and then you have this little ankle rocker. Where it hinges forward that much and back. Not at all hardly at all because that's right this all this armor is getting in the way of the articulation but he still has pretty good articulation as far as him being like a bigger bulkier character i'm pretty satisfied with the articulation here's how he scales with lord zed and a putty lord zed i do believe is just a hair bit taller but i think they go good in scale especially with that putty that putty definitely should be Shorter. That's how he scales with the Green Ranger and the Dragon Shield Walgreens exclusive Black Power Ranger. I already did a review on him. If you wanted to go and check it out, you can do so. But I think they all scale very good against one another. I think that Goldar should be just a little bit taller than both of these Power Rangers. Let me know what you think in the comments. There's a couple below. of gold dudes hanging out together. Here's how the Gold Beast Morpher. And gold are scales with one another. I've done a review for this gold beast morpher. If you want to go ahead and check it out, you can do so. How he scales with Legacy's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You have the Red Ranger and you also have the Pink Ranger. Just for fun, here's how he scales with a couple of Marvel Legends symbiotes. You have Carnage and back in Black's Deadpool. Well, thoughts on Goldar is his face should be a little darker. He should have more gold on him 
much like a darker tone of gold. His sculpt is amazing. His articulation is hindered by that sculpt, but that sculpt, we wouldn't have such a good figure if it wasn't for the sculpt. So I can't complain about the articulation because you still have enough to where you can pose them around real good. If you can find one of these, I suggest picking them up, if, especially if you are a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fan. Let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of this review. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from me. And as always, feel the urge to keep collecting with Surge. Yeah. Like Golder's got himself a couple of gold diggers.